Back at the, the Shine Rapid, this is the Ottawa River behind me. Um, I don't know if you remember one of my video, one of my vlog earlier this winter. I came here, um, it was like minus 40. It's a busy trail, it's a busy place. So I'm doing some photo here. I got some wildlife, birds and stuff like that. But I'll be shooting the river. The river is really, really high. As you can see behind me, I'm focusing today on detail birds, branches, um, flowers, leaves, a bunch of stuff that came out. It's spring, so we'll take advantage of it. So if you know, if you see behind me, there's a big tree. Maybe it's on this side, not too sure. Yeah. I, I didn't put any filter on it yet, and I'm already at about, you know, a fifth of a second. So that's pretty good. The water is nice, uh, silky, not as smooth, smooth as I as I wish it would be, but it's it's okay. So I'm gonna probably throw my filter on this. I'm trying to isolate this big tree, and you'll see in the photo coming, and uh, it, it makes a nice big contrast with the the water coming and and flowing, and it's it's really going strong here. I wouldn't want to be in the water right now, <laughs> boy. I got a, a nice, a nice duck there. I took picture all year of this guy. He's standing up now, so probably I should. You know what? I should go and take a picture of him again, and I'll come back later. Just hold on for a second. Folks, this is this is not about landscape. Uh, this this clip here, it's about wedding photography. Next week, I'm doing a wedding photography. Next Saturday, May 25th, and I'll be using my uh, Fuji GFX 50R medium format. I have two lens, the 45 millimeters and my 100 to 200. So I'll be utilizing those two lens. I don't know if any of you shoot sweating or even landscape. Are you guys using JPEG or RAW? I, I mostly shoot RAW, but with the Fuji, there's about seven custom settings for um, I can adjust for JPEG. And I've been testing playing with those settings. And I'll be posting some image on this, this vlog about what stuff I've done with JPEG only out of the box. Changing if you're setting in the camera, and you'll see it's it's pretty amazing. The, today's new cameras can do a pretty amazing job with uh, JPEG. I know some of you say, "Well, JPEG, uh, you know, you can't go and uh, edit as much as you want." We know that. We know that. Uh, there's no need to go back there. But I'm just saying, if you're using a Fuji XT1, XT2, maybe more the XT2 and 3 or uh, GFX like mine, or even other camera. I'm sure Nikon, Ca Canon have good setting for, for those JPEG, those custom setting. Go in there and play with those settings. Highlight, uh, contrast, uh, uh, sharpening, uh, black and white. Uh, adjust all these things to your liking and do some tests. You'll be amazed what these new camera for the past few years can do, just JPEG. And it's a time saver. It's a big time saver. 
my file, I, you, you'll see some of the files. They come out of, uh, of the camera. I, I, I hardly have anything to do. Just a, a little bit of adjustment, not much, you know, just to make it to my pleasing, basically. Like vignetting and stuff like that, I do that in post. But anyway, just to say that, uh, I, I mean, if we can take some nice shot with a phone and, 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 and like uh, Tim Day does and, and win some award, why not a JPEG from a GFX 50R? So I'll be doing the wedding and I'll be utilizing those seven different custom already preset some black and white color, vivid, you know, muted color and stuff like that. I, I already did my preset. Um, there's a guy on, who does wedding with, with his, with his Fuji, Fuji and he, he posted a bunch of, of preset we can play with. I'll be posting the name down here. Go check this guy's vlog. He's a pro Fuji you, uh, photographer. He's an ambassador for Fuji in UK and he's amazing. Anyway, just to say, you know, try out, try it out, JPEG, JPEG. Let me know what you think. Just move location now, different, different view. Uh, it's quieter. The river is not as noisy as a rapid over there, but there's a nice, uh, nice composition here. So. I'm gonna show that to you. I'm at the F22. I really want to slow this down. I got my Nisi filter on. Let, let's tight the Nisi filter a bit more. There we go. It's going to be a eight second shot. F22 ISO 100. And let's go for it. Two second delay. The wind had picked up. It's really windy now. So, and you'll see in the picture coming, there's a, there's quite a few bird. It's like a small island. It's like a small island and it, there's quite a few bird on it. So at 10 seconds, of course, the birds are, are blurry, right? But the island and the water flowing is beautiful, beautiful. So let's do a tighter shot. I'm at 100 millimeters. Let's go to 200. Adjust my composition here. Get the corner. There we go. Isolate that little tree over there. There's a nice tree. Make sure my I'm manual focusing. One thing I like is that uh, focus peak. Those little bright light that stick out. That's very helpful. Okay, and I can probably bump this to a 10 second F22, ISO 100, 200 millimeters. Let's go for it. I hope the sound is better. Uh, you have my lav today. I'm recording uh, this video at 1080p. I don't know if you guys do all 4Ks or 1080p or whatever. Um, 4K is nice, I have to say. Some of the footage is really nice. But unless I'm selling my footage, I don't see the need for 4K video. Uh, let me know in the comment below if you guys are more like a 4K people or 1080p is fine, HD, you know? I mean, there, there is possibility of selling footage, B-rolls and stuff, but I don't do a whole lot of that. So, Maybe one day uh, I'll do some more. So you just notice behind me, the blue sky is coming. So hopefully today we'll get a decent day. Like it's early now. It's not even seven o'clock yet. Maybe it is. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I see the sun peaking over there. But um, this is where I wish this morning there would have been a, a nicer light, you know. Uh, but we do what we can, right? So I'll be changing location. There's another area where I want to go. It's out in the wood. Hopefully it's open, I'm not sure. There's a lot of water. Maybe it's flooded, I'm not too sure. But if it's flooded, well, hey, next time. So folks, this is it for today. Uh, and we'll be, uh, 
in touch again. But next week, I'm not going to be doing a landscape vlogging. I'll do a wedding vlogging. And let me know if this is something you want to see. I'll, I'll be posting a vlog on my day at the wedding. <laughs> I know I'm not here to... I don't do a whole lot of wedding. Yeah, there's the sun. See? Now it's peeking out. Which is good. Mr. Sun. But anyway, I'll be... Uh, I'll, next week I'll be doing a wedding. Like I said uh, earlier, um, I'll be testing out the JPEG. Um, black and white, you know, color, vivid color, depending. So, but anyway, <coughs> so yeah. Um, th there's one thing I want to talk about before uh, before I close down this this uh, this vlog this morning. This channel, uh, my channel is, you know, I'm pretty steady. I've been posting pretty steady. Some of the stuff are not that great. Lately, I've been trying out uh, commuting to work with my bike, stopping at different places and taking pictures. Let me take this picture because the sun now is really nice on that little island there. And I could probably, yeah, four seconds. I'm still in there. <coughs> I'll be, uh, I'm at 200 right now. I'll be doing a 100 millimeters also. So this morning I didn't use my wide angle lens at all. I just used my, uh, my long zoom here. So yeah, so the channel is, is doing okay, you know. I, I got about 60 sub, which is fine. Um, I've been doing this what five months now which you know I have still have a lot to learn uh, I'm not doing this full-time um, I wish I would have more time but I'm gonna start um, in, instead of quantity I'm gonna try quality I think content is everything I mean I listen to J James Burns and uh, Mally and all these folks are very um, David David Griffith, very split. You know, they do nice vlog. They they explain nicely what they're doing and describing. I'm not good at that, and that's probably where I should improve more. Um, is you know, be more descriptive of what I'm doing. Even Thomas Eaton is very descriptive. Um, I'm not Peter McKinnon, for sure. This guy has uh, more than just, they don't have to say anything. They're on camera and they're, they're good. Uh, Casey Neistat is the same thing. I mean, Casey is amazing, you know? But they got characters and they got ideas and, they, and, and they're good with their, their equipment. They're good with their software. They're good at editing. And, you know, they've been doing it for years and years and years. So I don't want to be like, I can't be, we, we are who we are, right? So I don't want to be someone else, uh, imitating anybody else. I want to be me on these vlogs. So anyway, so I'll be uh, in the next couple of months evaluating and testing out. I think now I'm past the, you know, the, 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 the excitement of vlogging. Now, if I really want to get serious at this, I need to spend more time on my content and have a better quality videos, quality content. And, uh, and also, uh, I'll be doing different things, not just landscape. Uh, I'm not a wedding photographer. I do the occasional wedding here and there, maybe two, three a, a year. So next week I'm, I have one and I'll be uh, sharing that with you folks. Um, but more of the technique aspect, because I really want to get into JPEG shooting. Um, I'm a big fan of RAW, don't get me wrong. I, I, I'm not converting to JPEG, uh, but I can, I can see with this camera, with this setting, I can do more JPEG and I can save a whole lot of time on my post-processing 
and have some decent file not decent amazing file to share anyway I think that's it for for today I've done enough this is a this is a goodbye for now until next time keep shooting <laughs>